gentlemen, it's me, Mikey Pipes. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Today in the United States of America is election day. The day that we vote in members of the community that are gonna rep represent us in government. And it is very important, it is your civic duty and obligation as a US citizen to make sure you go out and vote today. Do not hesitate. Do not think that your vote does not count. Do not think that because, oh, Mikey Pipes, I live in a blue state and I'm a Republican, I'm, they're not going to win. Don't say that, right? Your vote does count. I don't care who you vote for. Make sure you go out and vote. And no, this video is not sponsored by the Democratic or Republican National Voting Commission. It's not. Anyway, we're heading over to a service call in Oceanside this morning, which is part of the south shore of Nassau County on Long Island in New York. Customer has a slant fin gas boiler that he says is misfiring, and he thinks he needs a new igniter. Well, let's go see what's going on. Attack dog. Hi. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. How you doing? And you are? Milo. Milo. Hi, Milo. You with dogs? Yeah, I'm fine with dogs. As long as they don't attack me. He'll stop barking. Come here. He just ran away. Uh, we're ready. Let's see what you got. Bobcat. Oh, man. So, you come with the house or you had to put in? Uh, my father-in-law had to put in when he was in the house. <laughs> they, uh, were they notorious? Um... Listen, there. Uh, it is what it is. Tell me what's going on. Uh, yeah, I mean, when I had it on last year, it generally worked okay. I, I had to clean the hot water heater. We had a hot water issue, but that okay. fixed it. Um, it was just misfiring. It misfired a few times throughout the season. Um, like it goes a boom? Like it just, it, it, it turns off and then just clicks, 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 and it doesn't turn back on. Okay. Um, my father-in-law suggested that I may need a new igniter, um, but I mean, I got two kids in the house, so I just wanted someone to look at it before we restart it for the year. You haven't had it on yet? No. We have, um... Heat pumps? Yeah. Like seven of them. Okay. So... You have solar panels in your roof? Yeah. How's your electric bill? 205 a month. Not bad. Yeah. Not I mean, bad. sometimes when we're pumping out a lot, we'll yeah. get a LIPA bill, but I mean, it's usually only like 15 bucks. Nice. Yeah, so that's... Nice. Alright, I'll grab your tools from the truck. Uh, can I go out this way? Yeah, or? I mean, yeah. I'll, 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 cool. Alright, no problem. So Let's make sure nothing is out of the ordinary first. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's all good. Okay, alright. Let's go get the tools. Alright. Slant fin bob kit B120. Wow, we don't see many of these, these masterpieces from the early 2000s. Well, anyway, this machine had uh, dirty flame rods, which are located right here. We removed these a screw and that screw with the vampires. All right, it's nice, he gets that little nut right there. Took out that screw, and that bolt, and that bolt. Nut, nut, sorry. Uh, cleaned it off with some scratchy paper, wire brush, reassembled. Now we are in low fire, and we're testing combustion at a stack temperature of a hair under 100 degrees. O2 at 5.67, 5. Particles per million of carbon monoxide, and the gross efficiency is 96%. She's rated for 95, and that's almost perfect. Almost perfect. This is your gas valve with the blower and venturi sucking in the fresh air from this piece of three inch. Here's your exhaust, combustion analysis test port, flue gas temperature sensor and various water temperature sensors back here. Low water cutoff. Very nice how they put the flange here instead of a coupling so you can dissect, dissect this. 
Here's the Takeo uh, 0011 uh, eighth. Yeah. Circulator for the primary loop, which is here. And you're gonna notice their closely spaced T's are not closely spaced at all. Expansion tank horizontally, not vertically. Air scoop, pressure reducing valve. One, two, three zones, three purge stations on the return. Relief valve, 30 PSI, missing drip leg. Back of the machine is clean. Just a little bit of rust on the bottom left-hand corner from a previous leak of a component. Okay, guys. First alert, carbon oxide detector. Rated for 150 particles per million of carbon oxide within 10 to 50 minutes. However, the, oops. the one thing about this that you're going to learn right now is the expiration date, which is, where is it? There it is. So these are only good for about three to five years, mm -hmm. realistically. This one was manufactured December uh, 15th of 2014. Okay. Time to get a new one. Double, yeah. Yeah. I got one right here too. No, I just noticed it was sitting right here. Yeah. yeah. And I just, uh, I saw the temperature. I, I saw the number, I was like, there's no way. Yeah. So uh, I have my own, which didn't do anything. Didn't show anything because probably the battery's dead and sure enough the battery's dead. All right, zero. Machine is producing two. Very good. Excellent. I, I normally have to turn this on, but it's eight o'clock in the morning, a little tired. Yeah. Totally forgot. <laughs> yeah. And I knew yesterday I thought it died, but uh, regardless, it's all good. Um, yeah, you should have a carbon monoxide detector in every floor of the home. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to have one in this garage, but. Uh, the, one of the things that we do, uh, my company does, that when we uh, approach any boiler, uh, and we're working on any boiler, uh, regardless if it's like a pilot being out or, you know, an overhaul, we always do a combustion analysis. So basically, it's, it's like a safety test. Mm -hmm. Without te actually testing, you know, with equipment, um, you don't know. Yeah. You really don't know. Yes, you could hear and listen for things, but for car carbon dioxide, for example, you can't see it, smell it, taste it. You know, it's right. deadly. Yeah. The, the, you know, the deadly killer. <laughs> um <laughs> But um, well, that's one of the things we've tested. And your, and your machine right now is running uh, at maximum efficiency, and it's producing only two particles per million of carbon oxide. To, get, to give you an example, a, a, a relation, mm -hmm. that one that we just, that, that, that you just, I, that was took over there, that yeah. first alert, goes off at 150. Okay, and it's producing two. And per... it's producing two. Okay. So obviously the higher the number, the, the more... Uh, dangerous it is. More dangerous, because yeah. it's particles of parts per million, so... Mm -hmm. At every million parts, you know, that's producing right now, two. two. Yeah. That's going to go off at 150. Okay. Most machi most of those, uh, like, uh, the kid ones and the first alerts, they go off at five, uh, 400 okay. within four to 15 minutes. Yours has a little bit longer of a delay, that one. I, you should probably get a new one. Yeah. Uh, Amazon, yeah. 30 bucks. Yeah. You know, it's money that's well spent. That's what we did with that one, but I, I like the idea of having one right in here just so I know. No, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I got my kids. And, and again, the only things in your, in your home that can produce carbon monoxide is anything that burns fuel. Right. Uh, you have a tankless gas water heater, you have a tankless boiler, you have a, a cooktop, a gas yeah. cooktop, yeah. gas oven, any things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that those things have the, the you know the, the cooktop when that's running is producing like ten times more than this is producing right now. Yeah. So don't <laughs> the gas on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the reasons why I say never heat your if the ha heat goes out, never ever ever heat the house, you know, with, with the, with, with the, the oven on, or the yeah. stove on because you don't see it, you don't smell it, you can't taste it, and it can kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a customer a few weeks ago that we're not even there for that reason, but they have a very, very great you know, a machine called Bosch. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a German engineered machine, yeah. they, they make heating equipment. And for a totally separate issue, I was there for a water drip, kind of related, but mm -hmm. there was a hole in the vent pipe behind the machine that no one's bothered to look for because most guys don't do a visual re, a visual observation before they start touching anything. Right, right. I saw it right away. And then we're talking because, oh my God, I've been having headaches for like months. The thing produces hot water and space heating for the house. So it's always on year round. Yeah. But only her has been, it's weird. Yeah. But my thing went off at around 50 in the basement. 
that's how that shit happens. So it's very important, very, very important. That's why I stress to my guys, you have to have something like this. I buy them for them and they just leave them behind because yeah, they don't yeah. care. Um, but Unless that's yeah. one thing you got a giant drawer of, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you should have seen what the levels were looking like when that thing was just fucking. Oh yeah, because it's venting directly yeah. into into the into the garage. Yeah. Yeah, so it's very it's yeah. crazy. How old is this thing? Uh, no idea. It's nice, uh, Takagi. Yeah. Very, very nice. They're good machines. Very good machines. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I want to stress again the importance of carrying a, a means to monitor levels of carbon dioxide while you are working. It is very, very important you do so. You can't see it, smell it, taste it, feel it. The only thing you'll know is that when you're sick or when you're dead. So please, please, I implore you, I beg you, make sure you have a means to measure carbon monoxide while you're working in your customer's home, place of business, wherever you are at, carry it on you because at the end of the day, you need to go home to your family, okay? You don't wanna go home to your family in a box, okay? Mic drop. I have to use the Testo personal carbon monoxide monitor. It's a nice little doodad. It works. It's reliable. Uh, the only thing it doesn't do, which I hate, it doesn't automatically turn off. And I guess that's a safety, so you don't want it to turn off. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe, and make sure you go out and vote. Do it now!